What is going on guys? It is Nick Raff and welcome back to another Dollar Store Magic Kit review. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss another video. And guys, smash that like button like every other YouTuber says because it really does help me out. If you guys saw last week's video, you know that that kit was a complete failure. And I'm hoping this week's is a lot better. Let's jump into it. Looks like we got another one of those yellow and red boomerang optical illusion tricks. Uh, like a spiked coin. And it looks like a like snap it puzzle. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's tear this baby open. Just like that. Pull out all the goodies, the instructions, and the tricks. All right, so it looks like we got instructions. Oh, on regular printed paper this time. Before they gave us like a little laminate and stuff. That was pretty nice of them, but now this is on computer paper. It looks like we've got our uh, little boomerang optical illusions. I showed you guys this in the first Magic Kit review video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, it'll be linked down below, so go ahead and check it out. I'll do it one more time though. I've got a yellow boomerang and a red boomerang. The yellow boomerang looks a lot bigger than the red boomerang, but look, if we switch their place, now it looks like the red boomerang is larger than the yellow boomerang. Isn't that weird? So it's actually just an optical illusion. These are actually the same exact size, look. The red and yellow boomerangs are the exact same size. Isn't that crazy? When you put one on top of the other, the bottom one is gonna look bigger than the top one because of the way that the boomerangs are curved. So right now it looks like the yellow one is bigger than the red one, but we switched their place. Now, the red one looks bigger than the yellow one. It's all perception and the way that we see things. Okay, it looks like we got a little capsule here. If I could get it to work. Why isn't it closing? Why aren't you close? What the heck? Close. What? Is that how it's supposed to go? What in the world is going on here? What the heck? That is so dumb. All right, for some reason this lid is just not going on. It's, it's it's dollar store. Understand that this is coming from the dollar store, so nothing's gonna be perfect. So the trick is actually a classic magic trick from Magic Kids. You take the coin, you put it inside the little capsule, like this, a little cage. What do they call it on here? Oh, spiked coin. Inside a box, they call this a box. So, comes with a little plastic coin, take the plastic coin and put it inside the box. And you have these spikes here that are all taped up, dang it. So you take these spikes, you put the lid onto the box, just like so, and you take these spikes and you push them through the coin inside the box, just like this. Start pushing these through the holes in the box, if I could find them. See, it's, it's annoying when it doesn't actually work properly, aha, uh -huh. so. I gotta start going sideways with these spikes because I can't even get them in the right holes. That's what she said. <laughs> I'll get this last one going all the way down. I gotta go like all the way to the other side. Guys, this is harder than it looks when the box is when the box doesn't work. Last one. Boom. Just like that, the spikes are going through the box, through the coin, just like that. You can see that. The spikes are going right through the coin inside the box. And if we take out all the spikes just like this. We can look inside and see the coin is completely unharmed. How is that possible? It looks like this last trick you get in here is like a little uh, puzzle that you can try with your friends. It comes with a little canister here and something that kind of looks like a Nerf bullet. And at the end of it, there's this little edge here. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. Nice little edge there that's supposed to try and clamp this rubber band on there. So the object of the puzzle is to get this rubber band clamped on that little edge right here on this Nerf bullet looking thing. So you take this rubber band and put it inside the tube just like that. 
and then give this to your friends. And the object is to try and get this little clamp on the bottom of this little Nerf bullet looking thing to clamp to the rubber band. And you gotta push it in there and try and see if you can get it clamped on the rubber band. And it's impossible until they hand it over to you and you can actually do it, watch. I can actually get it clamped on there. A little bit more. Oh, there it is, I got it, there it is. See, look, I got it. So we can pull out. Oh. Uh, it clamps right back in, just like that. You can see it shooting right back in. Got it right on the rubber band. And all you gotta do is unhook it like that and hand it back to your friends to see if they can get it. And they will never be able to get it. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty neat. I like this one. I like this. This is literally the bane of my existence. I have dropped so many things in these episodes, it's not even funny. Not fit in the paddle. So you're gonna have to actually fit inside this to make sure it works. What is this picture? Ah! So yes, I really, really like this trick. I think it's really cool. It's just something fun. The instructions explain how it works. I would literally get this magic kit just for this spike puzzle. It's so much fun to do, and I think it'd be a fun trick to try on your friends at school. Overall, I think this ranks right in the middle between the three magic kits we've seen. Right now, the first kit that we've seen is the best one. Again, that episode is linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. All the episodes are linked down below. This kit will come in second place, and last week's kit will come in third place because that one was terrible. Don't even wanna talk about it, you guys just have to go watch it. It's linked down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the video. I appreciate all the love and support on all my videos. And I will see you guys next week on our last Dollar Store Magic Kit review. Bye-bye.